I'm Zena, Warthog Princess, and this is my very first Vera unboxing. I went to the outlet store in Phoenix today, that was my closest, and I just returned, visited some friends while I was up there, and created a couple new Vera Holics, which is so much fun just sharing the joy and passion. But when I got home, there was packages on my porch, so I'm just gonna do my first ever unboxing of a recent haul. I have no idea which parts this is, but we'll find out together. Um, I know the lighting, everything's not great, but this is, it is what it is. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right. So this is the fleece travel blanket in the Santiago floral. I actually have two blankets already like this, but I bought the luggage in this pattern. So I, of course, had to matchy matchy. Plus, it's so fun, so springy, and so soft and cozy. So this is that. Okay, let's see, two boxes, kind of heavy, so for Vera, that one's it's probably a lot of stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Ooh, I know this is from the online outlet, by the way. Um, the blanket is or not I think that was from the retail store but okay this is the owls ditty bag set the, the large and the small and the clear bag we'll open this up later well shoot I guess we're unboxing so open it now right. so wow lots of wrapping Has. Okay, so it's the clear bag and it has handles, so it's kind of nice. I probably can figure out some stuff to use that for. Looks like regular size Diddy in those cute owls. It is a double pull, which I really, really love. I wish they were all like that. Um, and unfortunately, it's the kind that's not connected around the bottom on the inside, but that's okay. Still great thing. But anyway, okay. The larger one. Oh yeah, that's a great size. Not sure exactly what I'll use this for. Also double pull and also not attached inside. Let's compare the sizes. So without measuring, that's the size, regular size in front and the extra large one in the back. And again, that is the mini Diddy gift set in Holiday Owls. Okay, so then this is a laundry bag in the cut vines. Oh no, sorry, I lied. This is the underbed storage bag. I actually have both in this box, but... Oops. All the wrappings. So, it is quite large, actually. I hadn't seen these in person yet. Perfect! I'm going to use those to store my extra beer throws in. Okay, so I got two of those. And... Wait a second. I don't... I got four of those. I don't even know what I ordered. I made so many orders lately. Okay. And here is the laundry bag. Cinch laundry bag in cut vines. I love these. They are really great for going packing in and out of the RV. Just put your clothes in or whatever and put it in. And when it's full in the trailer, I can leave this in the back of the truck, which is also protected, but then it's got extra waterproofing. So, good size laundry bag. It's like a giant ditty, really. And they come with, this variety comes with these rope cinch ties. So it's the ties, it has the cinch, and then you can use it like a backpack or sling it over your shoulder. I actually like the, I guess it's the outlet version or the older version of these. 
which actually had a cinch, but it had a separate strap, like a nylon strap that was great. It also, this one doesn't have it, that had a zipper pocket. So like if you want to put your coins for the laundry in the RV park, whatever, you know, just stuff in there. Um, this does have handles to carry a different way. What else? Yeah. Oh, it has a mesh zipper bag and it can clip off or not. So I guess if you want to put your special bras or underwear or something, I guess that would help launder them separately or you can use it for whatever. Anyway, okay, so that's that. Let me move all this stuff over and we'll open the last box. Well, the last one for today, anyway. And then I'll stop this video when this is done and I will, um, don't worry, this is not sharp. It's not gonna cut my stuff. It's just sharp enough to go through the tape. Then we'll go through the outlet haul from today. Mostly gifts, but you'll see in a minute. Okay. The online outlet sales are great. You get some amazing deals. You gotta look though. Look under the clearance tabs and look under the fantastic finds. And that's where the best deals are gonna be. Um, so if you've been patiently waiting for something that is long retired, that's where you'll find it. A lot of my leather Vera, which I love. It's super high quality. Um, that stuff, a lot of it I got in those sales. So you get like a $300 bag for like 80 bucks or less. Anyway. Okay. So got two. Oops, sorry, this box is kind of in the way. Um, fish tags. It's cool. It's fish on both sides. I wasn't super keen on these. I think they're lovely and all, but, um, I got them to put on my fly fishing bag. Not that anybody doesn't know whose mine is. I'm the only girl really that goes regularly. And my rod is hot pink. Nobody's gonna mistake that. Uh, and also my fish, fly fishing bag, like my, my cross fly. Anyway, it's purple. So again, the guys aren't gonna take that or mistake it for Moses. But nonetheless, I got tags for like traveling or whatever. So my fly fishing gear will be styling Vera as well, two of them. I already have these slippers, but I got these a gift for someone. So if you know me, you might be getting slippers. Anyway. All right. Oh, okay. This is not the last item. This is the large stroll around diaper bag in brown. I don't think that's the original color name. I'll hold on, I'll tell you what it is. Um, Espresso. It's espresso. It is the microfiber, which if you have pets, be aware the microfiber bags like this, they do, they're hair magnets. They will kind of really attract it, but it's easily, you know, just tape and get it off. But I don't have kids, but I got this bag because it is an excellent travel bag. I wouldn't normally pick like brown. I don't think it matches really anything I have, but at least not buying materials aside from solid to solid. Well, it does kind of, you know, whatever. That doesn't match. But this does have browns in it, so it does kind of could match. The point is, I got this as a standalone bag because you just take the nifty little changing thing out. Because obviously I don't need that. It is lovely and useful for, I'm sure, something. Not for me right now. But then you still have mesh pockets in front. Great travel access, so you can zip it down or whatnot. You have the magnetic closure. I love these hidden magnets, by the way. These are great. Um, so that, that, that pocket's okay. Then in the back, you have a big zipper pocket. It's just a plain microfiber inside and out, but it is quilted throughout. Very good. I do love this older Vera stuff. Okay, bottom slat, no... Uh, whatever you call them, rivets, poppets, feet for it, which I really think a bag like this would need. It's got a semi-rigid bottom. It just makes sense because you're gonna set it down 
whether it's travel or diaper pick, whatever. Anyways, it needs feet. The side pockets on these are quite large, so plenty big for water bottle or whatnot. It does have these straps, which are great if you have kids and you want to put this on the back of a stroller. I'm not sure what else I'll use these for, but I bet they'll be handy for something and I'll figure it out when the time comes. But if you have kids, that's a very useful piece. But why this bag is so great for travel is it's large, it's roomy, it's like up, I would say in between the weekender and grand traveler, somewhere in that rain. But look at this. So it has pockets inside, which is great for organization, but it's plasticized. Yeah, so if you have kids, babies, wet clothes, whatever, that's great, but if you don't, it's still great because you go to the beach, you have wet clothes, you whatever. So, very nice. All right, then, this probably won't go online if at all, it will go up after I get this as a backpack for my niece who's graduating high school with an accelerated course. Super proud of her. She got her master's, or not <laughs> master's. <laughs> she will, I hope someday. She graduated high school with her associate's degree. So she's going off to college and needs a lovely backpack to take with her. Sorry, I'm unpacking this. So this is the Lighten Up Essential Large Backpack. This is an outlet exclusive style and pattern. It is very similar to the Lighten Up Grand Backpack. Very, very similar. Um, I don't know the exact measurements, but you can look them up as easy as I can. Anyway, it has side pockets. Front pocket has good access. It's not like one of those super skinny that you can barely get your hand in and is useless. No, not like that. It also doesn't have those ugly metal zippers. I hate, like these are metal, but they're smooth and operating. I know some people don't like the rubber pulls, but I like these better than some. The second pocket, plenty of room here for wallet or whatnot, but it also has your ID cards. It has a big slip. It has pen pockets, one, two, three, four pen pockets. And these zippers are super smooth and even with a little work, one-handed operation. Main pocket, there is one more pocket. Sorry, I'm not familiar with this one. A smaller pocket up here. Like, I don't know, maybe if I had my sunglasses or keys or my zip ID or something in there. I don't know. This is for her to decide. Big main pocket. Normally there's pockets here. There is a zip on this one. Um, but this one, if I turn it around, actually has slips on this side. Honestly, I'm not sure I like that. If it was me, I don't know, I'd have to use it to see if that works or not. But main pocket. This is resort medallions, by the way, in case you didn't know the pattern. But. And it has the laptop or iPad area. It's padded on both sides. The straps are padded and robust and it has a nice carrying case. So anyways, very nice large size backpack and I really hope she likes it. I also have a couple other matching accessories to give along with that. So that is my first haul. I hope you liked it and I look forward to hearing from what you'd like to see next.